Okay, be honest, how many times have you just wanted to grab some properties from an interface without fuss? Writing extra lines of code or creating temporary properties just feels really clunky. But it turns out that TypeScript has a really nice and neat and efficient way to handle this. If you are new here, my name is Flo, I'm a professional software engineer and on this channel we do everything related to the world of software engineering. So grab yourself a hot beverage of your choice and let's get right into the code. So for demonstration purposes, let's just create an interface and use that interface directly. So we say for instance, interface human, and obviously this interface human can take all sorts of properties like our first name for instance, then we could also have the last name, and then we can also have the age as a number. And now we can make use of this interface by just defining, for instance, a new interface called props of component A. And this interface now takes in a human, which is of type human. So here we make use of the human interface. And then we also want to have a property called displayed name. Now the type of this property should be first name or last name. So basically the key of the human interface. So for that we can basically say as a fixed string first name or last name. So here we define basically a union type of first name or last name. I think you should be really comfortable and pretty familiar with this situation here. Now obviously this human interface can be used multiple times throughout our code base and for instance we could have a new component B and this component B can obviously take in multiple properties as well but also takes in a displayed name. Now here we again define first name and obviously last name. Now this is a situation which gets really interesting because we have a component A which takes in a human interface, but also the property displayed name, which can be first name or last name. So basically the both keys of our human interface. But then we also have our component B, so props of component B. And here we only have the displayed name, which again, basically just takes in the first name and last name properties of our human interface. Now, as you can see, this is really not dry proof. So do not repeat yourself. We repeat ourselves here. And there's also a duplication going on. So we need to fix this situation here. How we are going to achieve this? You might guess it's pretty simple, right? We just define a type and then define our union there. I mean, we could do this pretty easily. So we define a type and we call this displayed name. And here we say first name and last name. And then we can pretty easily say displayed name, displayed name, and for our B component, the same thing. And then it's fixed, right? But this is not really true. The reason for that is because first name and last name are still untyped. That really means that for instance, if we change the property in the human interface from first name to, for instance, middle name, we don't get any error. And that's pretty ugly, right? Because we have somehow the middle name and last name in our human interface, but somehow we still define our first name and last name in the type, which is not that good. So the real goal is here to type the displayed name type. And how we are going to achieve this is by using a combination of pick and key off. So let's quickly fix this code here. So first off, key off is basically an operator defined by TypeScript, which extracts all the properties names and returns them as a union. So basically the same behavior we have here. However, if we now say key off human, obviously displayed name can be middle name, last name and age but we really only want to have the middle name and the last name. So we can simply use pick from TypeScript here. In short, pick just basically constructs a new type by selecting a few properties from an interface or type. We can say now pick and then as the first generic argument here human and as the second generic argument we define now the property names. In this case, it is middle name and last name, or from the first example, basically, first name and last name. So let me quickly change middle name here to first name again. And then we say in pick, we can define first name, and then we create a new union, and then here we define last name. So what we got here now is a really unique type, I would say, because we have the beautiful combination of key off and pick. 
Now pick basically picks the properties with its types from a specific interface and then key off takes these specified property names and define them as a new type. So what we have right now here is a typed version of the previously used code. So kind of a typed union of first name and last name. So to demonstrate this power, we can simply define a constant quickly. We just define it as a, and then we use the props of component a interface. And then we can define our human and we can make use of the displayed name property. Now we can see here that the TypeScript server basically suggests us two versions. So first name and last name, and we can define these two property names here. So we can say first name, for instance, and this now basically works, right? So we have a typed version of our union. Now, for instance, if we now change the first name to middle name, we get a lot of errors. So for instance, our displayed name type now returns an error that obviously first name is not defined anymore because of the pick variant here. If you want to get into the dev of JavaScript, then I highly recommend to watching this video because there I highlight the different variable declaration techniques in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, have a lovely day and bye bye.